Hi guys, I thought I'd give you a rundown on what I'm doing with Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint today. I'm actually in a shop that is opening up soon. It's going to be a florist and also going to have some beautiful potted plants. Um, but the uh, manager of the store would like me to paint their front counters where they have some pressed metal tin. So I thought that I'd have to scuff sand the metal, the tin, um, for the milk paint to be able to stick but apparently not because I've tested it out on this little piece down here and I'll show you that. So here's the pressed metal and that's what it looked like the tin, the shiny surface beforehand and what and the sort of the look that we're going for is this milk painted um, look here. So <laughs> I've done a bit of experimenting with different backgrounds so uh, I'll show you what I've done so far. So here's the front counter and it's painted, you can see it look, is looking, it's obviously one coat of Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in a custom shade of grey, blacky, browny grey, <laughs> for want of a better word. Um, but it's looking quite ugly right now, but that's the, going to be the background base for the ironstone colour that we're going to put over the top. So I've mixed up Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in the colour ironstone right here. And I'm actually going to be using a little bit of Miss Mustard Seeds Furniture Wax, clear wax, to just create a bit of a resist in between that and the top coat. Just dabbed a little bit on this cloth and what I'm doing is just following the lines here, um, which is the parts that we want to resist the paint. So I'm just following along with a little bit of the lines and just sort of, I'm not really being, you know, real careful about where I put the wax because it's just going to be a bit of random distressing. But I want to put it on those lines as best I can, following the lines in anyway. Just like so. And now I'm just going over with my Klingon Oval 35 to get in some of those groove bits there. You can see where the wax is resisting. I'm going over it with ironstone milk paint. So you can see where the wax is resisting on those areas where I've painted before. Oh, so. There we go. <clears throat> just getting into all of the areas here. And we want to a distressed chippy look um, but because the milk paint is quite sticking quite well we're not going to get a lot of chipping so we have to kind of force that with the wax now before the paint dries um, really well I want to get these little bits here where the wax is and just kind of brush away with just a cloth to create this lovely chippy look.